Yo, what's up guys, Super here today, I have a quest guide for you on the quest Temple of Ikov. Another live commentary for you guys. Um, you're gonna need 42 thieving, 40 range, so I have those two. You're also gonna need uh, a, some light source, so a candle or a lantern, a knife, 20 limpet roots, uh, and a bow that's you or better. Uh, it's also recommended to have like a spot your cape or boots of lightness, but you don't need it. And what else? What's I missing? Um, oh, food and melee protection armor. But for now, you don't um, need any of that. So, all you need at the beginning is uh, a light source and a knife. Anyways, we can start the quest by speaking to Ikov. Who is at a pub in Ardun. He is just right around the corner next to the big castle. And he should be wandering outside somewhere. Or inside. He's a hooded guy, so just look around for him. There he is, Lucian. He's gonna need a pendant. Anyways, just tell me your fort, he'll give you a pendant. And yeah, anyways. Okay, so, all right, so now you have to make your way over to the temple, which is over, where is it? This right here, uh, and you're currently right here. So you have to run across this bridge, run your way through Ardun, and just figure out, basically speed up this next part. And once you made your way down here, go over here, go down these stairs, go to the end of the room, use a knife on the spider web. Uh, walk in, take the boots of lightness, wear them and walk back out. Now you guys have to check something really quick. Basically, your weight needs to be um, below zero. Mine's a negative four. Make sure it's below zero or you're gonna die later. So, okay, now open this gate. Whoops. Oh, whoops, where are your pendant? Now open it. And run across this bridge, open the door. Now, if you are really heavy, then you're gonna die when you walk over here, so. Take the lever piece. All right, guys, so for this part, you're gonna need more food. So what you guys can do is run back out to Ardun Bank, or the closest bank to here, which actually might be Sears Bank, um, and get a full inventory of food, and if you want super energy potions, uh, higher levels might need as much food, lower levels will need a lot of food because there are spiders in there that may hit hard. And again, I will keep recording once I get an inventory of food and I'll meet you guys outside the top. Alright, remember that you're going to need the lever with you guys. Okay, so I'm back with a full inventory of food. Make your way down the ladder. And now, you guys are going to see an empty lever bracket. Use the lever with that. Now, pull the lever, and run into open gate, and it should open. Now run south a little bit, and then 
take a right. Alright, so this part's a little dangerous, guys. Basically, you're going to be running into uh, ice areas with spiders. These spiders are level 61, so you have to make sure that they, you know, don't kill you. And you're going to be searching chests for um, arrows. So I'm going to be running around showing you where some chests are. They're basically in these little, like, al alleyways. Search it. So it's just a final thing. So it's just we find nothing. Keep looking. And you're, these are the arrows. You need ice arrows. Um, I'd get around 30 to 40. Uh, get 40 to be safe, and basically just keep running around to these alleyways and getting the. Uh, Arrow, so I'll be back in the entrance when I'm done. Now if you open all the chests and you can't find any more arrows, what you can do is switch to a different world and search all the chests in that world, or you can wait for the arrows to respawn in another chest. Alright, so I managed to get 42 ice arrows. Um, now you guys are going to need to go get some ranged gear uh, for a boss fight, and I'm going to go show you guys my inventory and what I'm going to bring you for food. So, be right back. Okay guys, so once you're back, um, with a good inventory of food, this is my range setup, pretty dang bad for uh, level 40, but I'm lazy and didn't get AT hide. Um, what else? Basically, it's a level 82, I believe, and his max kit is 8, so not that high of a max hit, but for you lower levels doing this, uh, beware, make sure you have decent food. And uh, you can also protect from range, I believe, or whatever his main attack thing is. Um, so you should be safe if you have 40 uh, prayer or less. Anyways, first of all, I'll go to the circular room and hit uh, search for traps. And you're going to find a trap, make sure you disable it, and you should be good. Now run west. And this is where the, uh, the boss fight is. So open the door. Oh, whoops. Uh, come on. Oh, I didn't pull it, did I? Oops. That's awkward. It should open this time. Brilliant. Now I'll try to open this door up here. And a little semi cutscene is going to appear. With uh, the 8 of 4 Fire Warrior. So he's going to attack with Mage. Um, go ahead and attack him with all your stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Attack him from here. You can put on Protect from Mage, which is what he's going to ma mainly be hitting with. And uh, hopefully I can kill him. So wish me luck. Uh, just a little beware. Um, I'm level 58 with 40 range, 44 defense, and he is hitting semi decently on me. I've gone down to half HP pretty much, and I've eaten a good 7 8 food. So, uh, again, beware. Don't under underestimate this guy. If you have a high range level, 50 plus, you know, it won't be a problem. But again, those most of you probably doing it with a lower range level. So, uh, just look out. And he's dead. So, I actually end up using a lot of food compared to what I thought. So again, don't underestimate the guy. He's not that hard, but he's semi-difficult for what everybody says. Okay, at this point, you're uh, gonna need to make another trip. So roll ahead and run back to a bank. So Ardu and or Sears Village Bank. And you're going to need your 20 Limpert Roots. I'm gonna show you my inventory looks like. Uh, make sure you look at it before you do yours. And I'll meet you guys at the entrance of the temple again. Be right back. All right, so. Fourth and final trip, you're going to need the 20 limper roots, um, some food, and I'm just wearing the same gear as I wore before. Now you're going to be picking a side, you're either going to be with Lucian or the Pendant or the Guardians of Armadil. Um, and I'll sh I'm going to be doing the Guardians of Armadil, and I'll show you how I do that. So you can look at another guide if you want to side with Lucian, but I'm going to be doing um, the Guardians because, you know, I'm just chill like that. So, anyways, back to the same spot. The door should be open still. And 
this time, open this door as well. And a witch is going to be out here. Talk to her. Tell her that you have her lumber roots. And she will TP you to the other side. And no more lumber roots. Those cost me a good 8k. Not good. Alright, now run north and then go west. Skip this room. Look out, there's going to be uh, lesser demons over here. It helped to have a uh, full run energy. This be a decent place to train for any of you. Take the shiny key and run back to the guardian room. Now, for those guardian or siding with the guardians, take off your pendants and don't wear it when you're talking to them. Use the key on the wall. Oh, come on, don't auto retaliate. Goes back that push wall, and you'll be able to go in. Now, talk to uh, one of the guardians. Uh, and now say, okay, I'll help. And he's gonna give you an armadillo pendant. You should wear this one. Alright, so we're gonna have to leave this place now. Then we have the armadillo pendant. I'm sort of stuck. Uh, run your way up here, I'm thinking. There should be an exit somewhere. Uh, let me record once I find it. Okay, so just uh, push this wall. Uh, go east. Uh, no, go west. No, go east. No, I didn't see the ladder. And go up the ladder. And you're going to be in this little house, which is uh, right here. And uh, go ahead and bank in Sears Village, and we're going to make our way to Edgeville. Okay, so I just simply teleported to Edgeville. And uh, I'm going to see if I can... Actually... You're going to need to go to uh, this house right here. And I'm going to see if I can jump over the shortcut and get to his house really quick. Ah, nice. Alright, if you just teleport to Varric and then go to the shortcut, it's a lot faster. And he's going to be in this house over here. And, uh, yeah, just pretty much attack him. Pretty easy, gotta kill. Alright. And, uh, quest complete when you kill him. Pretty good, uh, levels, two range levels, and... Three fletching levels, good stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Pretty easy, just long quest, and uh, yeah, peace.